Hey everybody, and welcome to the next episode of A Man of Mayhem. Before we begin today's scenario, I would like you guys uh, to say that the next episode of Man of Mayhem will be especially cool because it is going to be the first defense assault scenario. Um, of course, I've been building up the units per scenario. Uh, people still were complaining about the number of units, and uh, it, it annoys me to no end because I already addressed this now three times. I think I'm really, really tired of this, where... I don't know what those people are doing. I mean, they're they're complaining, but they're not watching the videos because I've been saying from the beginning that I beginning uh, with small skirmishes, and each scenario I add more units. The reason why I do this is to see where the breaking point is, where it becomes so laggy that it's not it's not um, fun to watch anymore. We started out with 40 units, and we've come up now to the point where scenarios will have 280 units. So you know, people need to. Uh, to actually watch it and shut up. Anyway, <clears throat> it's going to be Star Wars related though, so it's going to be a uh, a Hoth inspired defense and assault uh, one, including uh, 280 units. It's going to be very very awesome. However, today's scenario will include uh, or will uh, have a armor only scenario. The reason why I am choosing to do this is because I want to show you guys actually the co the uh, comparison between regular uh, Man of War. Um, assault Squad and Rob's Realism mod. What we have here is Man of War uh, Assault Squad, the very first one, and we are in the map Nijmegen, my uh, my little home country, Holland. And the reason why I chose this is because uh, it has this point here in the middle, but also all of the houses are still uh, unbroken, and it's really cool to see this map before and after a. Uh, a, a tank scenario. Now, I will start the scenario. We have here some German tanks. Here are the Americans. And so we will do this scenario twice. And this is the regular vanilla game. And then after that, we will do it in Rob's Realism mod. And you will see, but mostly here, quite a difference. One thing is that uh, kind of is funny is that if the units are not attacking, the tanks try their best to not damage any buildings, which is kind of good because once the battle starts, obviously they don't give no damn. Just drive through. I mean, they still don't give no damage about your fence, but you know. Here we have our first shots fired. And you can see quickly taking care of the first German tank. Some German tanks are coming over that way. Now, this is something interesting that hasn't happened during any of the other playtests, is that this one got destroyed exactly here and is immobile. Now it's becoming impossible for the Germans to actually go through here. I can already tell you that this is going to be in the favor of the Americans, because the Americans are now able to spread out while the Germans need to go through the building or are stuck there. So yeah, they're getting... Ah, oh, that one's stuck as well. Yeah, the Germans have no chance now. I want you to take a close look at the amount of destruction. I mean, that was a pretty good explosion we, we saw right there. But uh, you will be surprised to hear if I say that the, ex that the damage and explosion and sound is very tame in this scenario. I could not believe my ears when I started this scenario up with uh, Rob's Realism mod. Now actually the Germans have a bit more chance because that whole building was destroyed. 
But again, as you can see, they're being completely dominated. The Americans have spread out well enough to where they have a good shot in every angle. I mean, a few tanks are damaged. Yeah, like this one tracks damage, but it's still operational. I think you guys get the picture. Now, let's see what happens when we do the scenario in Rob's realism. Alright, hey everybody. Welcome back to Nijmegen. And we have now Rob's realism mod on. Let's see how this happens. So, the explosions intensified as well. I'm gonna be quiet for a little bit and actually that you experience the uh, new sound and intensity that uh, this mod brings with it. Here we go. I mean, people, this sound is scary as shit. Also, what's very interesting about this, what's very interesting, the Germans are actually winning this pretty hard. I think the regular amount of mayhem has balanced things, and of course, uh, you know, the Germans had superior armor. Now, I do say though that I gave them the weakest armor here, so I don't know if this is as accurate as it would be, but they're definitely not as weak as before. I mean, the American soldiers are getting their ass kicked. You can just see how, how the blast obliterates everything around it. I think that's a really cool detail. What a slaughter, people. What a slaughter. So yeah, I wanted to show you this. I hope this actually clears up a little bit on uh, how Rob's Realism mod works. 
It also has increased the uh, visibility range a little bit, uh, which is very interesting. So, but we will definitely also get back to things like uh, the uh, mortar scenario or the machine gun scenario, turret scenario. But yeah, I hope you guys uh, like this. Uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time.